but it's a girls' film. My name's James Richardson, and this week I've been to see Brooklyn. Brian Little. Yes, Brooklyn. It's the one about the Irish girl, Ailish, who in the early 1950s bravely sails away from her home to the land of bobby socks and baseball. However, once in Brooklyn, she becomes really homesick and then is torn between the two worlds and the two men who won her heart. It's what they call in the industry a chick flick with mix. And when I saw the trailer, I thought, there's absolutely no way I'm seeing that. But of course I did, and it turned out to be absolutely brilliant. Witty, warm, poignant, well observed, and in no way the slobbering, self indulgent sop fest that it appeared in the trailer. Credit for this goes to the uh, script from Nick Hornby from the novel by uh, Colm Tobin, the director, John Crowley, and above all, whoever cast this puppy. From good old Jim Broadbent to Emery Cohen, the Brooklyn love interest, they're all note perfect. Special mention goes to Julie Waters, who as the woman who runs the boarding house gets most of the movie's best lines and knocks them all out of the park. And of course, to the luminous Saoirse Ronan, who is Ailish is quietly enthralling, thanks in no small part to that extraordinary emerald gaze. I've not seen such piercing eyes on screen since Un Chien Andalou. Hey, my first bunyol joke. High five. Brooklyn is basically like a postcard from another age, an age where people still have manners, when even reading letters at dinner table was considered poor form, let alone checking your smartphone. Hmm? All in all, I'm struggling to think of a single bad thing about this movie. The 50s locations all seem seamlessly authentic and steer clear of Craggy Island and Crooklyn cliché. The plot hums along, and the storyline, which could have been mawkish, never once strays into sentimentality. It is a little bit of a romantic fable, if you like, the princess movie that Disney never made, but who cares? This is one of those rare films that leaves you feeling all warm and fuzzy inside, like a couple of fingers of Irish whiskey. Like the whole cast is your friend. It's a Wonderful Life, Sound and Music, Human Centipede, although possibly that last one was just me. This is right up there in that category. Our conclusion then, don't be a Brooklyn Dodger. Make sure you catch this fine picture. I'd like to see it again to be sure, but I think we found our first 8 out of 10. <laughs>